Wow. You gotta get an abortion. <laughs> oh, wow. He's... <laughs> yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Welcome back as we continue with Always Sunny in Philadelphia, episode two, season one. This is going to be fun. Like I said, I'm watching this primarily because it's like a combination of, you know, homesickness. I'm from Philadelphia. I moved over to Colorado at this moment. But, you know, um, I wanted a show where it kind of reflects with how I feel, you know, not just within other forms of serious bodies of work. I don't want y'all to think I'm always serious all the time, you know, but it's cool to have a show that's a little bit more lighter on its feet and just reflects a little bit more with how I'm feeling personally. And it's just even cooler that it's a show in Philadelphia, which I think is really freaking dope. And just like in the first episode, I'm able to provide some value just from me being from Philadelphia and just me knowing certain contexts that maybe other people just simply don't. And also, you know, filmmaking and just enjoying myself with this. It's pretty entertaining from what I was able to pick up so far. But yeah, episode two, you guys read the title. You guys, you guys see the title. I'm not even sure if I'm able to say the word. I'm not afraid to say it, obviously, but just, you know, with YouTube, you're not too sure what's going to ding you, what word is going to ding you, but I'm interested in what the heck this episode is going to be about and how absurd it's going to be. So without further ado, I'm not going to waste anybody's time. If you want to be able to have early access in two episodes per week rather than one, you guys know where to find it. Check out the Patreon link below. We got all that other stuff going on as well alongside this show. So if you want to be a part of that, you guys know where to find it. You can also check out the channel and supporting it by leaving a like comment and subscribe and at the end of the day you don't have to do any of those things you know these episodes are going to be a little bit quick so if you don't need to do any of those things and you actually you know you feel a little bit more patient with this just don't do anything sit back relax get your popcorn and snacks as we hop into it's always sunny in philadelphia episode two it's not it's not a question of individual style it's about having some taste you're attacking my ability to express myself dude I'm, how am i attacking your ability to I just don't get it. I know where that is. That's crazy. Again, love the fact that they're just out and about in Philadelphia. This is so cool. <laughs> you cut the sleeves off of all of your t-shirts. What, so you can throw off your tats? Those are really original, dude. They're tribal. Oh, they're they're tribal? I'm sorry, what tribe are you from? Okay, what, okay, what okay. okay. Right. Tribe or... You guys gonna let me in this game or what? <laughs> I love how he just, it looked like he just spawned there. That was crazy. <laughs> what? Yo, it is crazy how they are just in a moment in their own world right there. <laughs> I know, like again, ah, it's so cool. I feel like I'm home here. That's that's pretty cool. I know there were always moments in the office where they would visit Philadelphia, like actual Philadelphia, instead of a set in like California. <laughs> it's been like 10 years since I've even seen her. So. 10 years? What does she want? Well, that's that's the weird thing. She doesn't want money or anything like that. She just wants me to meet him. Are you going to do it? No. He <laughs> said no. <laughs> He's like, nah. Nah. Charlie's right, though. I mean, he should have at least had a say in the matter. Well, it's her body, it's her decision. No, I'm sorry, it's not just her decision. The man should get a vote. Okay, well, ultimately, it's her choice. It is not just her choice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It should be left up to God. We are we are in the bar conversations today, man. <laughs> My man said, leave it up to God. <laughs> I'm right. You feeling good? No, I feel no. nauseous. No? I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna run. No, no, no. That's... He said, I think I'm gonna run. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm just here for not, moral support. Yeah, we're not. That's not even a. I brought him along. <laughs> so. All right, come on in. That dude on a bike is like, what are y'all filming? Why is there a giant camera over there? <laughs> Tommy, come in here, please. This is bullshit. Whoa. Whoa. Language, please. Hey. Which one of you fags supposed to be my dad? Oh, <laughs> yo. Oh man, I'd be roasting. I'd be roasting. I'd <laughs> be like, bro, who? What? Stop saying why. Why? Stop it. Why? I don't like this game. Why? This is a game? Why? This is your game? Why? Hey, pretty boy. What you here for? <laughs> Yo, the genuine disgust that just riddled his face, bro. He's not my boyfriend. He got AIDS? I don't. 
I don't think so. Do you? No, I don't. I'll blow you for ten dollars. Damn, that's crazy. You know that is uh, wild, man. That, that is such a process of thinking before you get to that. <laughs> He's biting my hand. Let's go. Let's go. Sacred right. It's a child, not a choice. Mm-hmm. Already. Golly, bro. That is a wild thing to just uh, so right off the bat. With, with some friends the other day, and I was wondering... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey there. Hi. Hey. Oh, are you here to sign up for the rally? Yes, I am. <laughs> oh, man. This dude is dingy, bro. <laughs> he is dingy. Oh, my goodness. I hate dead baby fetuses. You know, I hate them because they're dead and they shouldn't be. They should be alive and they should be loved. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he is just... He is just maneuvering, man. This dude is oozing maneuver. Can we go to the mall while you drive me? I guess, if Dennis watches the bar. That's fine. Great, fine. Thank you. Ah! Yo. Yo. Yo, man. That kid. You're ugly. You're ugly. You are the one that's ugly. ugly. The wrath of God would, would, would descend upon the heavens. If I did that, ever did an ounce of what he's doing to my mom. Charlie, what in the hell are you going to do if this kid's yours? Oh, I don't know. I'll probably uh, kill myself. <laughs> Your waitress from the coffee shop? <laughs> Listen, Charlie, I do not blame you. <laughs> All right, let's go. Thank you. Stop sweating. Then we can grab him if you like him, okay? Hey. Fancy seeing you here. Oh, hello, Charlie. <laughs> Golly, bro. That is a way to greet somebody. Good friends. Hi. Hi. So is that cute little girl your... I'm her big sister. Oh. Hmm, that's weird. She looks Mexican. <laughs> she is Mexican. It's the big sister program. <laughs> oh, man, Hi. dude. He Hi. is Hi. just... Hi. He is fun to watch from a distance. Thank God for this force field of a shield. I didn't know you were involved in the program. Oh my God, I love the program. It's, it's one of his favorites. Yeah, I've, I've been wow, in the program so since... A long time now. I guess you're going to be going to the picnic then at Fairmount Park? Fairmount Park is a beautiful place. Sure, let's oh. do it. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Great. Nice to meet you okay, too. Okay, well... I'll see you. I gotta go get my little sister. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, get the back over here, please. Great rhetoric. Thank you. Hey, you're really hardcore, aren't you? Oh, well, you know, I mean, if you really want to see hardcore. What's this? That's the list of doctors I'm going to kill. <laughs> Two already crossed out. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, this dude, man, he, he got the sauce, bro. <laughs> He said, here are the doctors I'm going to kill. <laughs> We're already crossed out, bro. Remember Jimmy Doyle from high school? That son of a bitch is Tommy's real father. He left me six months ago. You know what a nightmare it's been since he left? I can't, I can't raise Tommy alone. Lady, what? <laughs> what? He said, he said, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> Yo, that is hilarious. All right, so can I still take him out on Saturday? Yeah. Great. <laughs> He's seeing it through. What a trooper, man. I'm not listening to you. Aren't you right-wingers <laughs> all about the death penalty, too? Does that not involve killing somebody? Right, right, right. And you liberals are against killing murderers. But man, yo, this show came out so long ago, and this feels like Twitter. <laughs> this feels like people today. <laughs> I mean, you gotta come with me to one of these rallies. They're having another one on Saturday. These chicks are everywhere. I can jump on board with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Throw away all your convictions for a chance to get laid. I don't really have any convictions. <laughs> yo, that, yo. <laughs> he is hilarious, man. That dude is freaking hilarious, bro. He's like, listen, 
I don't have any convictions. Those things I was saying earlier, ah. Uh... <laughs> Probably the side you're going to. I'm going to fight for the right to choose. You're a scumbag, Dennis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. Animals, bro. Monsters. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me for a second, pal. Okay, do me a favor. If you're good today, I'm gonna buy you anything that you want. Anything in the world, alright? Oh bro. <laughs> I will smash your face into a into a jelly! Yo, yo, oh man, that would that set it all for me. That set it all for me. I was like, bro, no, he did not just spit on him. I know he did not just do that. I like your look. Excuse me. I like the whole hippie thing. It really works for you. <laughs> Get lost, breeder. Oh, okay. Call him a breeder, bro. I love the smell of protest in the morning. What? I was going to that movie, you know, Apocalypse Now, Napalm in the Morning. Is that the new Mel Gibson movie? No. You, you know, you really shouldn't joke about the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, realization, bro. It hits. It hits. So do you come to these kind of things often, or...? Are you hitting on me at an abortion rally? No. This dude is 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 an animal, man. This dude is absolutely. <laughs> All right, Megan, I'm finished. You are a genius. <laughs> that is so funny, bro. <laughs> because he's 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 really not. <laughs> I'll show you what we do to them. How's your aim? Pretty good, but I, I don't think that's a good idea. Hey, hey it's okay. These people deserve this. Yeah, he looks like he deserves Oh, man, he couldn't pass up the opportunity. He just couldn't. He couldn't pass up the opportunity. <laughs> Holy shit, throwing eggs. They did this last time. I came prepared. Hey, hey Dennis. How's the action over there? It is crazy that they are throwing eggs. Out of all things... Especially with the topic of conversation here. It is crazy they are throwing eggs at each other. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. What? It's a real miracle. What is it? I'm pregnant. What? I'm pregnant. Ah, wow. You got to get an abortion. <laughs> oh, wow. He's... <laughs> No, listen, I just think our situation is different. God, how is our situation different? Well, because I didn't mean to get you pregnant. Oh, my God. I'm not pregnant. It was a test. I just thought for, like, one second that you might be the one. I just had to know for sure. Wait a second. So you're not pregnant. Hey. Sucks to suck, man. <laughs> Don't want kids in the bar. Dude, what is up your ass? You, you are out. Whoa, dude, this kid reeks of booze. No, 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 no,
yeah, this show is crazy. And I kind of like that. I kind of love that we are we are going to the extremes on these. And it's only been the first two episodes, bruh. <laughs> the first episode was about racism. And the second episode was about abortion. <laughs> I don't even like it. I don't even know where they can take it from here. But apparently they take it from here. And I'm excited about that. I'm wondering if this is going to be the type of show that does have some like really interesting inner uh, introspection with the characters. Not to say that they need to, but usually really, really good ones that have a lasting quality as this. You know, because I'm noticing all these characters having their flaws and everything, which, again, I'm all for characters that are not perfect. I love that. Um, but I'm interested in seeing as, the, you know, the episodes or the seasons go on, how the stories go inward on some of these characters, whether it's, you know, really intense and actually authentic or they just make a funny comedy out of it. Um, you know, I'm just intrigued either way. They have really good chemistry here to work with. So. Yeah, I'm excited to see what these episodes are going to be. That was insane. Guys, tell me your thoughts down below in the comment section. But like always, guys, stay healthy and stay hydrated because we are just getting started. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.